Hello and welcome back to uh, Mickey Heliot's amazing blog. Uh, amazing but not so regular or frequent in recent times, but um, we're back all the same. And uh, lots of exciting things happening at the moment uh, in my business, so we decided to, uh, to set the, the, the blog going again. Um, yeah, exciting things. So what, what um, have I got? I've got a, a state-of-the-art gym in, in Limehouse being set up. Uh, it's a huge project, uh, big, big, uh, big, probably one of the biggest gyms, I think, in, in London. It's a two million pound gym. Uh, it's got, a, like I say, it's state-of-the-art. It's got all like the latest um, training uh, equipment and everything in it. We've got uh, altitude chambers, plunge pools, ice baths, uh, all different uh, therapy rooms for physio, massage, everything. Um, and that the, the the pro boxing gym will be open. We're hoping we expect before the end of the year. And uh, the rest of the fitness gym will be open early uh, 2014. So a lot of work being done on that. Uh, also got a, a broadcasting deal that is being put in place. Um, working on it every day at the moment. It's taking a huge amount of um, time and, and everything. But um, really, really looking forward to that, obviously, because I uh, need to move the business forward. And um, after a lot of hard work, looks like we've got the opportunity to do that. So I'm really looking forward, you know, uh, the fighters that we, we, we're bringing along, you know, give them a, a platform uh, on which to uh, to show themselves. Uh, so we, we, we're planning a lot of shows. Uh, part of the broadcasting deal, in fact, is that we have to put um, one a month in, in London, one live event in, in London a month, and uh, also one outside of London. So we'll be moving around the country and uh, broadcasting from, from all over. But... Um, like I say, one a month in London, which is a, a big chunk of work. Uh, we just had last uh, Saturday, we had our um, event at King's Cross at the Camden Centre. Uh, top of the bill was uh, Dan Woodgate, who beat James Tucker over 10 rounds for the British Masters. Uh, always difficult time, I think, for from a, a manager management point of view, when you're, you're bringing guys from fighting journeymen all the time to then stepping them up to fighting people that actually... Um, uh, are, are really trying to sort of knock their block off back, and uh, Woody Dan Woodgate fought uh, James Tucker, and uh, Tucker just came off a good knockout win uh, for a British Masters title. So this was um, quite a dangerous fight for, for for Woody. I expected him to win it, and realistically, I did. But at the same time, it it, um, it was going to be a hard night, and it was a hard night. Um, Tucker caused him a lot of problems. Good learning fight for for Woody. Brilliant learning fight for him. And uh, actually, he was then meant to fight for the Southern Area straight after we signed a contract for him to fight uh, Leon Senior. But um, <laughs> almost immediately after uh, Dan had actually agreed to it and signed it, they pulled out, which um, was a little bit disappointing. Uh, Woody was not particularly impressed by that, but um, that's boxing. Certainly not going to lose any sleep over it. Um, Woody will have a little break, and then he'll be um, back back. Preparing and uh, you know they're, they're, obviously they have to make the fight at some point or you know there's lots of options open to Woody uh, Dan Woodgate he can go and do what um, whatever's best for him really. Um, but yeah, it was it was a good uh, to to be going through that transitional phase of going from sort of staple diet of four round journeyman then six round journeyman and then to be doing these ten rounders where I don't want to plunge him in out of his depth but you got to step the level up because um very soon he's going to be fighting you know uh, other other sort of uh, guys similar to himself who have been built up and are ready to be to be thrown in now and uh, the, the, these last two fights were perfect for preparing him for that um, all in all it was a successful event Floyd Moore uh, we got a new sponsor Talk Talk and uh, they uh, they have three prizes on the night um, and one of those was uh, given to Floyd Moore for punch of the night and uh he had an absolute tear up. It lasted about 45 seconds. He got clocked um, with a couple of big shots from his Bulgarian opponent, Asin Vasilev. And uh, he actually <laughs> he got caught a few times. And then as Vasilev came in, Floyd, boom, knocked him absolutely, completely spark out. And um, that was, uh, I suppose, it, I think for the uh, the uninitiated people that were there, because we always have, you know, people first timers who are just coming in, and uh, it was a real 
power punch and I think it really sort of uh, it lit the place up um, and, and to people who you know that they maybe don't even understand so much about what it is that they're actually looking at but um, the, the, I mean the, the magic of a knockout punch um, and the look on those people's faces and the excitement in the room um, it uh, it really generated a lot of uh, I suppose a lot of excitement and uh, for for Floyd obviously because he just got tagged and then to come back with that punch it, it really had a, you know the the place on its feet and that's what the small boxing's about so I really enjoyed that. Um, okay, so moving on we've got um, whilst we're broadcasting the, the we're building preparing for a broadcast to be put into place we I've been trying to do a show a month because um, when I have to do it I want to be use, you know so I want to cut my teeth now so uh, last week we had. Dan Woodgate, Floyd Moore, and everyone else on that show. Um, the uh, first of June is the next show, so only ten days away. Um, we have um, uh, a show which it was going to be topped by Tony Owen, but we're in negotiation at the moment uh, with various parties for Tony Owen to fight for the Southern Area title. If we reach an agreement. Obviously, Tony's going to go and fight for the Southern Area. I wouldn't want it to be any other way. Absolutely, I, I want him to fight for the Southern Area. But I'm um, as always in in boxing, nothing's ever straightforward. So I have to have a plan B because if they, for whatever reason, the fight doesn't happen and he gets messed around and and you know, people lie, people you know do do little uh, tricks as they would probably see it. Um, and um, if, he, if the fight ends up not happening, I need to have a plan B. I need to have something to keep him busy because I can't have him just for months sitting there, you know, twiddling his thumbs, not boxing. But um, I think we probably will reach a, a, an agreement, and he'll, he'll, you know, the the he's mandatory, so they have to make the fight. And it has to go to purse bids if they don't make the fight. So I think that we will make an agreement. But people aren't always as easy to deal with as you'd hope, and you never know. So we have got a plan B. My my gut feeling is he will go and fight for the southern area. So he will end up probably not boxing on the first of June. Uh, if we don't reach agreement, then he will box on the first of June. But in any case, we've got a brilliant. Uh, co-top of the bill or if Tony doesn't box there it'll be the top of the bill and that is Ahmed Patterson uh, who's 8 and 0 against Dale Miles who's 13 wins and 2 losses uh, Ahmed's silky skills against Dale Miles speed and power I mean that that will be proper proper good good small hall fight and I'm really really looking forward to to that both as a fight fan and also as the promoter of the the event um my gut feeling is to, to go for Ahmed because he'll have home advantage and um, he's been on many of my shows, Ahmed, uh, from very early on in his career and I'd really like to see him do it. Um, Dale Myers, though, is dangerous. He he knocked out Mihai Tamutu, who I look after, and uh, uh, he's dangerous. He absolutely, you know, can, can really, really whack with both hands. So that, that's a great fight and um, it's what we want to be putting on now on, on these shows, you know, the, the top of the bill especially, it's got to be a 50-50 and that's as close to a 50-50 as I think we could get um, oh, today we uh, received in the post from the WBC a, uh, this is a, it's not a world title belt, it's a WBC uh, intercontinental title um, youth intercontinental title and uh, that's actually for a show that we're doing in, uh, in September uh, we're going to do a show in Kent with uh, one of the first ones we do out of London, uh, probably part of the new broadcasting deal, if we can get everything into place by then. And we've got uh, Lewis Pettit, who, who um, is going to fight for that uh, WBC Intercontinental Youth title. Uh, it's um, you know we don't it's vacant, so we don't know yet who we will fight against. But um, when we've got someone, we'll uh, we'll be promoting that, and uh, looking forward to it. Um, amongst other things, for example, the gym. But um, look, this is the first blog, so I'm not going to sort of uh, go into detail on every different sort of thing that we've got. But um, that's giving you like an oversight of what's coming up, and, um, and then we'll probably do some blogs, maybe direct from the site of the gym because we've started work on it already, and it's massive. It is huge. It's a massive big gym, and I'm, I've always known right when I, when I get to the point where I'm ready for it, I want this and this and this and this, and now I'm putting it in place. So we've got the gym, the broadcasting deal. Uh, we've got really good team uh, in the office now with uh, sales and 
uh, sponsorship and everything and it, the, all of this is going to help the fighters because at the end of the day that's what I want I want the fighters to have the best possible platform so that we can get the best you know if I get a given a 5 out of 10 boxer I want to turn him into a 7.5 and an 8 out of 10 boxer if I get an 8 out of 10 I want him to be a 9.5 and a half, a 10 out of 10 boxer and um, now we're going to have all these facilities at our disposal I know that we, we're going to be able to achieve that and I'm, I'm really really pleased I'm really excited it's going to be a good journey so I hope you'll uh, you'll join us okay guys I'll uh, catch you soon thanks very much bye bye <laughs>